Today on the Stay at Home Chef, I'm gonna show you how to make an actual tasty turkey burger. I've never liked a turkey burger before I found this recipe. They're usually dry, tasteless, and really lacking a lot, but this recipe is so good. To start, I'm gonna place one pound of ground turkey into a bowl. Today I'm using 90% lean ground turkey, and what that will do is still give me a really juicy and flavorful burger. If you can find an 85% lean turkey, that will work even better which could be a little tricky to find in stores. But please don't use leaner than 90%. Because if you do, you'll end up with a dry, tough, and flavorless burger. What you wanna do to get the best, most flavorful, juicy turkey burger is adding in two tablespoons of olive oil, or go ahead and use any healthy oil you like, like avocado oil. Adding in this fat is gonna do three things. It's gonna give you a juicy burger, a tasty burger, and a burger that you actually want to eat. The reason I think turkey burgers have been given such a bad rap is so many recipes out there call for breadcrumbs or eggs, which actually turns your turkey burger into a dry meatloaf turkey puck. Then to add some additional flavoring to our turkey burgers, we're gonna add in one tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce. Or however you say it, let me know in the comments the official way to pronounce it. Then finish it off with a half a teaspoon of salt and a fourth a teaspoon of black pepper. If you wanna add a little extra heat, throw some extra pepper in there. Now we need to gently knead the turkey burger with our hands. Then on some wax paper or a plate, you're gonna break up that turkey burger into four even pieces and then form those into those quarter pounder patties. And then to make sure those turkey burgers cook evenly, you're gonna take your thumb and press it down in the middle of each patty to slightly give it an indent. Burgers tend to puff up in the middle when they cook, and so this helps to counteract that. Now we're gonna head to either our stove top or our grill and get these burgers cooking. Whatever you're cooking on, make sure it's well oiled. And this goes without saying, but we don't wanna get sued. If you are using the grill, don't spray that oil while the flames are going. Once that's oiled, heat either the grill pan or your grill to a medium high heat. Once your pan or your grill is fully preheated, for the grill that's about 450 degrees Fahrenheit, add on your turkey burger. You'll know your burgers are ready to flip once they have browned and caramelized and they release from the grate. You might be tempted to push down on those once you flip them, but don't do that because it'll push all those juices out. And make sure to only flip those burgers once if you can help it. And we're going to cook them until they reach an internal temperature of 165 degrees Fahrenheit. Usually that takes about five minutes, and now we're gonna take it off the grill. Then put your patties on a plate so they can rest. Resting for a couple of minutes will allow these patties to reabsorb those juices. And if you like cheese, now's the time to add it. Then, if you want your turkey burgers to shine even more, and toast your buns for additional flavor. Then I personally like to pair my turkey burger with some sliced red onion, sliced tomato, and because I'm trying to keep this a little healthy, we're gonna use some spinach. And if you wanna sneak a little bacon in, that's fine by me, you do you. And then you are ready to eat. Thanks for watching. You can find the full written recipe in the video description below. Also, be sure to check out thestayathomechef.com where you can find hundreds of restaurant quality recipes you can easily make at home. We'll see you later.